Hey everyone, so here is a question from Algebra and the question here is what should be taken away from 3x square plus 2y square minus 5xy minus 25 to get minus x square minus y square plus 2xy plus 10. So let me write down the expression first. So here is a solution. So the asking from the first expression that is 3x square plus 2y square minus 5xy minus 25 from here what I should subtract that is minus what should come here so that we'll get minus x square minus y square plus 2xy plus 10 so here this question mark is an unknown expression this is also expression but what expression should ex subtract to get this uh, on the right hand side of the equal to so here this is unknown to us right so I'm gonna assume a variable since here already x y is taken as a variable so I'm gonna take a capital letter here just to get expression or you can take any small letter so let me write down here uh, minus let me take p okay so p here will be my entire expression you can take small p or capital P or you can, you can, I'll just take a capital P to just avoid confusion so this is a p so p will be expression which should be subtracted from the first expression to get the second one now here this is unknown to us we have to find out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to transpose this value to this side and minus p to the other side now why i'm transposing minus p to the right hand side because this p is negative right the sign is minus here so if i transpose the entire term that is 3x square minus 2y square to the other side we'll get the answer but later i have to remove this minus sign and that will going to increase my one step so better what i'm going to do i'm going to transpose minus p to the other side so that will become positive and i'm going to bring the entire terms on the right hand side to the left hand side okay you're going to get the answer by transposing even this term that is 3x square plus 2y square to the other side but that will be little lengthy all right so let's start this so i'm going to transpose minus p to this side and this whole expression to the left hand side so by doing this we'll get so the first expression will remain same that is 3x square plus 2y square minus 5xy minus 25 will remain same now minus x square that is this one minus x square when I transpose to this side will become plus so plus x square similarly minus y square will become plus y square minus sorry plus 2xy will become minus 2xy and then plus 10 will become minus 10 and this will be equal to now I'm going to transpose this minus p to other side become plus p so let me mark it with the blue color now on the left hand side I have to just solve the like terms so here 3x square and then I have a x square they are like terms so 3x square plus x square we're going to give us 4x square so this will be 4x square okay the next we have y square so 2y square and y square we're going to give us 3y square so plus 3y square next we have xy okay xy variable so minus 5xy and minus 2xy so xy xy so we have minus 5 minus 2 so minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 so we'll get here minus 7xy the next we have a constant minus 25 minus 10 so minus minus is plus so 25 plus 10 is 35 with minus sign because both terms are negative so it will be minus so minus 35 and this will be equal to p so p is expression which we have assumed and we got the answer here so therefore p is equal to p is nothing but expression which is 4x square plus 3y square minus 7 x y minus 35 so this should be taken away from this given expression that is 3 x square plus 2 y square my uh, minus 5 x y minus 25 to get the second expression that is minus x square minus 5 y square plus 2 x y plus 10 i hope it's clear how we have solved now in case you have any other question you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching